Hey there everyone, my name is Lynette Proach and I am a Solutions Consultant here at TriMech. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics and that is keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to show you guys five of my all-time favorite keyboard shortcuts uh, that I use pretty consistently that I always found very, very useful. So if you are a SOLIDWORKS user, I am a huge advocate for getting to know your keyboard, understanding you know where you have certain uh, keys, what those certain keys do. If you want to edit and update the keyboard shortcuts, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But I'm a huge fan of keyboard shortcuts. If I don't have to move my mouse as much, I don't want to, right? I don't want to have to keep moving my mouse all around. So if I can just get to it by just clicking on a button on my keyboard, that's what I want to do. So the first key that I want to talk about is the D key. The D key is going to uh, do two things for us. It's going to either move our confirmation corner or move our breadcrumbs. So let's talk about first off, what's a confirmation corner, right? If I say that, you know, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is, you know, if I hit edit sketch, up here in the top right, we normally get a little green check and an X, right? We get this, uh, this confirmation corner will pop up whenever I'm editing a feature, editing a sketch, we get them in all sorts of different types of commands, right? It's something that we see very, very often in SOLIDWORKS. So like I was saying before, the name of the game, I don't want to have to move my mouse as much. I want to just be able to hit the D key and have my confirmation corner come to me. So if I hit D, we can see how fast that moved my confirmation corner. So now I can say, hey, save and close, or just cancel. Right, again, this will also work if I'm doing, you know, features. So again, confirmation corner is active. If I hit D, brings my arrows directly to my mouse. So again, just a little tip, just to make things go a little bit faster. Now, I also mentioned that the D key doesn't only just do the confirmation corner, it also moves breadcrumbs. What are breadcrumbs? If I select something up here in the top left, breadcrumbs will pop up. Now for this model that I have, it's very, very simple. Uh, so I might not need to use the breadcrumbs, right? But if I have advanced assemblies or if I have really crazy parts with huge uh, trees that I have to find things in, the breadcrumb option is awesome. Uh, what this does is, hey, you selected a surface. This surface or uh, face is created by this feature. This feature is created by this sketch. These are all part of this solid body and this solid body is part of this part. So it's almost like a, a, just a quick roadmap of whatever I select, right? So it's really cool, extremely useful. Uh, I'm a huge fan of breadcrumbs, especially when you're trying to edit large assemblies instead of having to go search for things. When you click on something, the breadcrumbs will just pop up. And again, like I was saying before, if I hit the D key, I can move my breadcrumbs right to my mouse. Okay, so if you are someone who has, you know, a very wide screen and you know, maybe you don't want to have to go constantly looking for the top left, uh, just hit the D key and it'll move your breadcrumbs directly to wherever your mouse is. So again, super useful. All right, the next keyboard shortcut is actually a new keyboard shortcut that showed up in 2022, and that is the Q key. I love this so much. I'm so excited about the Q key. So what the Q key does is if I hit it, it previews my front top and right planes. So every part, every 3D part that we start, you know, normally starts with those reference planes. You out of the box SOLIDWORKS, you'll have front, top, and right. Depending on your standards, it might be one, two, or three, or you might have, you know, different nomenclatures. But you normally start with those first, uh, those first three planes, and the Q key has them show up. So even if they are turned off by default, if I hit Q, they will pop up. And then I can use them for creating new sketches, or if I do this in an assembly, I can mate to them. So the Q key, again, super useful uh, for just being able to preview those starting planes. And then if I just select off, they turn off. The next key that I want to talk about is the F key. 
F is really useful for, again, things that are large and complex. Say, hey, you know, I'm zoomed in and now I need to zoom out. I want to see everything. F is my shortcut key for zoom to fit. This is fantastic for when you're doing sketches because sometimes when we create sketches, right, we might have something that's off to the side. You know, we might have accidental lines somewhere. So if we hit F, automatically zooms to fit. If you're like me and you're a perpetual motion machine, right, I'm constantly zooming and moving my models around. So being able just to hit F to zoom out to get you know that view back uh, so I can see everything is just something I find really useful. So key number four is going to be the S key. Right, the S key is the short uh, shortcut bar key. So the shortcut menu, these are completely customizable and depending on what I'm doing, these menus change. Right, so that short uh, shortcut menu, really useful for going and finding different features that I want that I'm constantly using. And again, we can customize it. So what the S key shows during a part versus a sketch versus an assembly and even in drawings is completely customizable by going to our customize menu and then shortcut bars. Right, and then we can drag and drop and customize all of these things. So this is the S key again, just another very fast way of, I don't have to search for things. You know, I'm constantly using extrude. So my extrude is right here. If I'm constantly using fillets or my whole wizard, all of that stuff is right here. And now uh, recently they've added a search command as well. So if I need to do something like a chamfer, right, I can search any key in here as well. Okay. So again, S key, key I absolutely love. Uh, I use it constantly when I am modeling. So the final key that I want to talk about is actually the control key. The control key, if you are not using it when you are modeling, you are doing things very slow. The control key does a ton of things. I can probably spend a good two hours just talking about all the different uses of this key. So I'll just do a highlight of a few of my favorite things that the control key can do. One of them being uh, the ability to select multiple things at once. Right, so if I have a, a circle here, and now I use control, so if I hold my control key and then select two different lines, it's going to uh, pop up my context menus. So using the control key, we're able to select multiple items. When we select these multiple items, SolidWorks is smart enough to understand, oh, we need some kind of relationship between these things and have these context menus pop up. So again, really, really useful. But a couple other things that it does, again, this is not going to be all it does, but just a couple other things is things like if I use control on a plane and drag and drop, so hold control, left mouse click and drag on the plane, it auto starts my reference plane. Right? And we're able to create um, an offset reference plane just by, again, holding control, left mouse clicking and dragging this, um, this plane. Something else that control can do that not a lot of people realize is it can be used to copy features. Okay, so if I have a little fillet here, I can actually use control, left mouse click and drag it, and copy features directly from my model into other parts of my model. We also have different things control key can do when you are um, in assemblies. It, it lets you uh, add mates and things like that really quickly using context menus. The control key can be used in drawings to be able to copy dimensions. So the control key, again, I can spend a ton of time. I won't try to keep this video a little bit shorter, uh, but the control key is something really useful to, uh, to use. Get used to it. It's a really fantastic command to get to know. All right, so before I finish the video, I do just want to show 
when I'm talking about keyboard shortcuts. These were just five of my favorites that I use, but you can customize your keyboard to work however you want it to work. So to do this, we're gonna right click and get into our customize menu by right clicking on that bar. And then we have keyboard. And you can see all the different types of uh, keyboard shortcuts that Solidworks has by default. We can also do things like we can print this list out. I can really come in here and customize my keyboard to work exactly how I want it to work. Right? And by using these shortcuts, by using all of these different uh, tools, we're able to model faster, we're able to model more efficiently. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about customizing your keyboard or customizing your SOLIDWORKS in general, reach out to us here at TriMech. We'd love to help you out. Have a great day.